yeah, I know, it's weirdly colored box time, fuck you. Hi again, window lickers, it's me, Channing Tatum, back here again to talk to you about something that it's questionable how much you even care about. And of course, what I'm talking about is calling people gay. Yes, as you all know earlier this year, I defended the good sir, Mr. Beast, against the entirety of the Atlantic Ocean. They decided to call Mr. Beast's whole career into question because he called someone gay once or something. Quickly addressing the title of this video, this room is very much indeed filled with Orbeez, as you can see from this clearly unedited image right here. It's totally not something I just made up, and as I record this video, I am standing slash sitting up in a giant pile of Orbeez. You just can't see them because they are out of frame and behind the camera, but trust me, they are indeed there. And don't you dare look in the reflection of my eyes to verify if what I am saying is true. But uh, on the topic of Mr. Beast calling people gay thing, uh, I gotcha. We're actually not gonna be talking about that at all. <laughs> We're actually gonna be talking about relatively small things like petties and Orbeez and shoving a bunch of them in a really small and tight-fitting space. And before your brain starts running up and down the wall with that sentence, no, I'm not talking about your mom's nether regions. I'm actually talking about your grandma's. I'm just joking, just joking. We're not gonna be doing anything so uncouth. Instead, we're gonna be talking about this phenomena of stuffing a couple hundred million or some other ridiculous number of small objects inside places like your friend's backyard or in your brother's room. But before we do that, it's plug time. In fact, it's time for one of the last plugs of the year, my friends. And while times are dire, and quite honestly, asking what I'm about to ask is more unrealistic than I think it's been every other time I've asked before, unless something incredibly strange has happened between the time I made this video and it gets uploaded because I'm making this video in advance so I can take a break over Christmas, I'm gonna ask anyway. I'm really, really, really trying to hit 500,000 subscribers before the end of December, and in addition, by the end of the year. So if you guys are new and enjoying the video so far, it would be much appreciated if you guided the cursor on the screen by moving the mouse with your butt cheeks in order to hit that subscribe button, and may Venom Dad bless your soul. But as of recent, this trend seems to have taken the form of putting Orbeez in weird places, like in pools, a backyard, the Marianas Trench, you name it, if Mr. Beast hasn't done it, he's probably about to if somebody hasn't already. But before we take a look at the trend in its current form, I want to take a look at some of the earlier iterations of the filling room with the thing trend. Not videos from this year, but ones from that fabled year I find myself referencing more than I ever would have liked to of 2017. Specifically, I want to look at a video by the YouTuber Tanner Brongart, who made a video filling an entire room with beanbag beans. In doing so, he cursed the entire house he did it in to always have a bean or two waiting around every crevice when you least expect it. Like randomly the shit starts dripping out of your sink faucet when you leave it on for too long, or suddenly it starts raining on you from the shower head. At first you think it's some gross solid substance dripping all over you and you're screaming in terror thinking you're in some paranormal activity film, but when you look at what it actually is that's dripping all over your ass, it's fucking packing peanuts. Anyways, the premise of this video is that Tanner is just feeling like having a little laugh and pulling a little practical joke, so like any mischievous young teen does in their free time, he decided to spend a thousand or so dollars on some beanbag beans to fill his sister's bedroom with. But check it out guys, these are the boxes, there's so many of them. Completely huge. Full of these beads. And this is gonna take literally so long to clean up. Like, you don't realize how small these are. Oh. And since I'm so nice, you wanna help me move some foam up to Taylor's room because I'm gonna put the beanbag beads on top of the foam so that it looks a little bit higher because, well, I bought a thousand dollars worth of beanbag beans, but I don't know if I bought enough. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, quite, why are you even showing us this? Like, who the fuck even is this kid? And for one, that's kinda dumb. I already told you who he was. It's Tanner Brongart, stupid. And listen, this is important. What needs to be established with these filling the blank with a billion of blank videos is that there is usually a person on the receiving end who is getting their shit filled up with some stuff. Now one thing that also cannot be underestimated with these filling videos, as you will see in this video and in others, is the sheer amount of effort it takes to make them. Just the sheer amount of stuff you're gonna be moving around makes it worth it to me to fart on that like button. Like the amount of hands that Tanner had on deck for this video alone speaks pretty loudly to me. It is one in the afternoon and my mom has taken my sister out to go shopping right now. Oh. And since I'm so nice, you wanna help me move some foam up to Taylor's room because- Hey bro, could you help out with this? We need as many paws as possible. <laughs> Okay, Quentin's on his way because we really need help. We need all the help we can get. My mom has bought us some additional time. We have an hour, so we should be good. Those are all clips now from the first four minutes of the video, and things are getting a little crazy if you couldn't tell. Tanner couldn't just do it himself. Let's run through all of the people that have been implicated so far. There is indeed himself to start with. I mean, sometimes a man's most valuable ally is themselves, but other times it's the biggest possible pain in their ass. There's his brother Tristan, who's helping set it up in exchange for a fucking MacBook. There's arguably the most important player of all, the dog, who doesn't really 
really do anything and is more there for emotional support if anything, but they are still the most important player in this game and don't disagree or I'm gonna fucking cut a bitch. There's Tanner's mom, who's keeping the victim of the prank themselves occupied and distracted while Tanner and friends do the thing. And Tanner's recently called over his mate Quentin because he knows they're gonna need some more hands to do the work. And just so you have some context, Quentin is the big strong muscle man of the group. It makes sense that Tanner called him so he can just do all of the work himself. Save some time for the lads to be lazy, you feel? I do respect it. Anyways, we spent a good amount of time with Tanner Brongart executing his master plan to torment his sister. So let's skip to the reaction so we can get to the Mr. Beast part of this video so I can justify it in my head, putting his name in the tags like 600 times in a row. This has to be the best prank ever pulled on anybody, I swear. Whoa, my god! <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, we made your room a winter wonderland! I hate my life! It's like one big bed, you can see here, anywhere. Come in here and yeah, shut the door. It was already dirty before! <laughs> And just like that, the apocalypse was avoided. But now that we've watched a person fill something up with something else like a year and a half ago at this point, what have we learned from this video that we can look out for moving forward into 2018 videos? Well, for one, this shit got mad fucking views, over 30 million to be exact. Also, the videos themselves aren't very cheap to make. $1,000 is pretty fucking steep. Though, compared to what you might be standing to make off the video, I can see why you might have gone for it. There's the fact that they are hard to do and set up on their own, and that you need a lot of one kind of thing, and you're probably gonna need a couple extra sets of hands to help you pull it off. And also, as a little bonus meme, Tanner did another one of these on his brother, but instead, he filled his bedroom with cereal. He has now stained the carpet permanently, and life was never the same. Now that house is doomed not to just rain beanbag beans from the shower head, but also Fruit Loops too. Enough about that though, let's get on to one of the videos that was released in this cool year, 2018. And of course, it's by Mr. Beast. I already said why we're using from him, it's so I can put his name in the tags, piss off. But specifically, let's take a look at his video, I put millions of pennies in my friend's backyard. Partly because it has over 13 million views, but mostly because it hits home on that point I was making on that it's really fucking hard to pull the shit off. I mean, Mr. Beast actually didn't manage to pull this one off when he had over 12 people working on it at once at one point. Making these videos is a hard task. Call it clickbait all you want, but you really can't take away the effort that goes into it from the people making these videos. But anyways, yeah, it's penny time. This is one dollar and pennies. This is twenty dollars. This is one hundred dollars and pennies. That is one thousand dollars and pennies. This is two thousand dollars. This is ten thousand dollars and pennies. Give or take like five grand. I stopped counting. Ah! Okay, so if you can't count past the amount of toes on your feet and fingers on your hands combined, meaning 27, let me just clarify that that's a whole bunch. And not to mention that they're all stuck in those little tubes, and to cover the backyard that they hope to in pennies, they're gonna need to break those tubes open and go straight at it. Kinda like my therapist says how I'm supposed to address my personal issues. Anyways, let's see what they came up with to open these things quickly and efficiently, because there is a lot of them, and they're gonna have to work through them pretty fast. Apparently, you can't just burn the paper off. For whatever reason, it's, it doesn't burn. You having fun? No. I'm breaking them over. Ah, it appears that nothing is working, like every method I've ever used to try and get free V-Bucks with. I've gotten my identity stolen like four different times, my credit score is lower than the pits of Hades, but that Skull Trooper was worth the risk. I mentioned earlier that Mr. Beast didn't manage to pull this one off, but there is still a happy ending. The original plan was to fill the backyard with all the pennies, have Chandler's dad, the guy whose backyard it is, come back to discover the pennies, and then let him use the pennies to buy a new car, since he said in one of the last videos he was in that he bought like six fucking cars and they've all been for his kids, and that he's the only one left in his family who doesn't have a car, but it was a really wholesome and sweet thing to do. But I think I've had enough to do with that doing things that benefits your fellow man thing. Instead, I want to talk about Orbeez. Because for whatever reason, owning a couple million of those things and putting all of them in a pool is the key to success according to everyone who's done it really. For reference of how insane stuff has gotten to this point, Mr. Beast has another video where he puts a bunch of shit in his friend's backyard entitled, I put a hundred million Orbeez in my friend's backyard, and before you tell me that that's not the same thing as putting Orbeez in a pool quite, the video might might not be titled that, but we got a fucking two for one deal here. Mr. Beast, as part of putting the Orbeez in the backyard, puts Orbeez in the pool that is found in the backyard. And with his infinite genius, he uses the pool and buckets full of water to make the Orbeez all big and shit so we can dump them in the yard. In order to leech off this trend, as is the way of the quite, we must once again steady and dissect and <coughs> permanently borrow the video ideas of Mr. Beast for like the 50th time this year or whatever. So now that we've proven we have a hundred million Orbeez, we're gonna fill this pool and this entire backyard with them. 
You see what I was talking about? This is the kind of genius you were only gonna find in the likes of Mr. Beast Skull. So what I said stands. This was a two for one mega deal. Fuck off. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. Like I said earlier, I'm really trying to hit 500,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you're new and you enjoyed, it would be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button and donating $5 a month to get things like custom badges and custom emotes. It's totally optional, but it helps out the channel and it is much appreciated. I have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Lab Mouse. We upload two new episodes every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. If you want to check out any of my merch, you can go to quiteshop.com and cast on the stuff there. You can follow me on Twitter at quite and on Instagram at quite.png. <laughs> Links to both of those in the description below. And lastly, I also have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you're interested. Anyways, this has been Quite and it's Orbeez time.